Hi, my name is Steve Bradshaw. I'm going to show you the unboxing of an IBM Power 9 system. Uh, I get to do this quite often, but quite often I find that my customers never actually see a box opened up and they're kind of curious as to what it's like. So in this video, just going to show you some useful tips for opening it, some useful information for what you're going to keep, and also what's inside the box. So let's start with the Power 9. Power 9 comes in one big box if it's just a power server. There may be other boxes if you've got tape drives or other accessories. Okay, it's on a pallet, I wouldn't have flipped the bottom, and it's strapped to it with these straps. It weighs 65 kilos just for a basic machine. So 65 kilos, uh, what's that, about 145 pounds, 10 and a half stone. So you wouldn't want to drop it on your foot. These are also quite expensive. So the first thing you want to do is a quick visual inspection to make sure no water damage on it, no dents in it. So as I look around the sides, no water damage, no dents, and my sniffer dog there says everything's fine from a cocaine point of view as well. Right, so next part. These labels on the side here, really useful information. I'll come back to them later. If you've got a packing label there, that might be the only one you're tempted to keep, but these other ones have serial number, model number, uh, and customer number information on them. So, the first thing I would do if I was you, strip at least one of those off. You don't want to strip it off, take a picture of it. I would take a picture of it, but someone's using my phone. So keep those, we'll want those later. Okay, just take your time. It is going to be written quickly, but those will be useful. There's one more on the side here that's in a packet. So, a quick slice of there with something sharp. And let's have that. We'll come back to that later. Most notably, model number, serial number, things you're always being asked. All right, so the next thing you can see is strapped to the pallet. You can reverse these, yank really hard, and snap them. If you don't want to do that, just take some good strong scissors. And them. Once those are done, take those out. I'm afraid those can't be recycled. Most of the other packaging can, so let's just take that and pop it to one side so it's out of the way. We've got these side bits of cardboard. Take those off first. If you don't, they'll be for them and you'll trip over them. Those are the first in the recycle. Last week, you're going to watch the recycle for me, buddy. Good lad. Good lad. All right. Next, mind your nose there, buddy. Cardboard off the top. Okay, this is the first bit. You'd be tempted at this point, like any other box, to cut across there and try and lift things out. Not the way it's designed. You see these things on the side here, these plastic bits? Stick your finger in, pull it towards you, and it'll come out. Okay, rip and repeat, plastic off, finger in, pull it towards you. And then it pulls out. There's two more on this side, you don't need to see those. But the important part about that, once those are out, is that this thing just lifts off. So the top comes off nice and flat, ah, gently. So just keep working, backwards and forwards. It feels like it's never going to come, but eventually it can just lift up. It's much easier if just COVID doing this. But in these times of COVID, the only other person allowed in this room, apart from us with the dog, and a beautiful part of the here, which is the video. So, the lid comes off. And let's move that out. We've got slightly more room. That makes a rather good place to put the rest of the rubbish. We're a bit tight on space. I'll move that out of the way. Can you see it from the top here, Cloudy? What you see next is more packaging, no big surprise there. This first one in the middle, that's got some extra information, documentation, power leads, fill caps. So, worth keeping. Pop that down the side. So those extra labels I'll tell you about. Before you lose them, pop them in there. Next, general packaging. This keeps it safe as it shipped across the water and sent to us, so we'll just lift those out and 
just the thoughts. All right. Here's my boy. Okay. Now we get our first glimpse, actually, of our power line. This is the tower model. So at the front here, you've got the front door. Only reason I mention that, move it out of the way or you'll tread on it. There'll be an expensive snapping sound and people will be unhappy. Right, I'm going to put it in the top already. Next thing you want to do, just open up, remove the packaging from around the edges. Now we're going to look in and see how beautiful it is. Okay, so the power line's there, sitting again on a bit of cardboard. If you just take your time to peel it back, this is where you can get your hand underneath it, stand it up, remove the rest of the packaging off, just work out where you're going to take it at this point. This handle here, if it's a towel model, that's strong, you can pick it up by that. You've also got wings at the bottom. If this was a rack model, the sides you'd have handles, you could pick it up by that. So at this point, we're just going to pick it out, shake it around a little bit, take the cardboard off, take the cardboard firing off, just so we can see what's going on. Okay, power line system. I'm going to lay it back down because the next thing we're going to do is actually look inside and make sure it came okay. Get it by the wings, move it around. Give you some space. Now, a couple of bits of tape at the back here. They're going to remove from the back, take a piece of cardboard off. And what that cardboard is doing is just protecting the back here, which has got some more sensitive parts on it. Again, just a quick look around, looking for dents, damages, marks, blemishes. Can't see anything. So we're going to take a quick look inside and then that's going to finish this first part of the unboxing. So inside, to get at it, you've got this one clip. That's it, one finger, push in the blue part, pull it towards you, the whole assembly moves towards you. This is exactly the same whether it is a tower or a rack. Obviously it looks slightly different, but essentially the insides are the same. I remove that towards you, it's simply lifts out. Fantastic documentation on here. If you're ever unsure where things go, take a look at that. Well worth a read. Inside, a lot of space, a lot of air. It's a good thing because with that air comes the ventilation. This plastic clip on here, again, it's forcing airflow. The reason we're looking inside, first of all, at the back, We've got these adapter cards. Can you see down onto these adapter cards, Tommy? If you can't, okay. So in this case, I've got a network card, a SAS tape adapter card, and another network card. I'm looking to make sure they're flush, pushed in, this back end isn't raised, and that they're well suited, seated. If they're seated, they'll be flush. Right? These will not be sticking up, those will not be jagged, and when I look at them at the back, That'll be nice and straight. Great. That all looks good. Gonna take a quick look forward. This is a single processor model, a 914. Has one processor in it. That big piece of silver there isn't the processor, that's the heat sink, the thing that gets the, uh, the heat out of it and cools it down. So look and we'll see what that's like. I'm just gonna lift that up. Everything's looking good there, it's nice and flat. The memory cards is my memory dims. I've got four of them in here surrounded by another 12 blanking plates. I'm not bothered about the blanking plates, but the ones that are memory, right? Just wanna make sure that they're all the way in. They've got these little arms that grab into the side. You make sure they're all the way up, not down, all the way up. That's in, that's in, that's in, that's in. Okay. Everything about that looks lovely, so I'm gonna put the plastic back in. So that's my airflow. Don't be tempted to leave it out, because that's how the air channeled in the right directions. When I want to put the top back on, make sure that that is up. Just drop it on. It should find its own level. Right, so 
I moved it backwards and forwards, and all of a sudden it went snug. And if it's right, one finger, push it forward, click, and it's done. So, that's our power line. Stand up. You can see the front of it. Look at the disc bays. In this case, just got two discs in here. Actually, they're NVMEs, that's why there's only two. High speed storage, we'll talk about that another time. Got the front, the keys to lock the front are inside. We'll take those out, put those in the same packaging box with everything else. My door, it's got three clips. Gently push onto the side there. One, two, three, and that then closes. But if you want to lock it, the keyhole's in the side. The last thing I mentioned was our documentation. So in here, it's got the keys and the labels I mentioned. It's got the blanking plates in case I ever want to swap out my MDMEs for something else. Those those storage bits. It's got my four different um, power leads, because this is a four power supply version. In there, anti-static uh, wristband. So if I was taking any of those dims out, I put the anti-static wristband on, make sure I was grounded first. That is just a roll of Velcro. It allows you to make your tapes go better. It allows you to put together your leads nice and tidily. And finally, some shipping documentation. And of course, IBM's legal disclaimer in about 90 different languages. So let's pop all those back together again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is part one of our installment, the unboxing of a Power 9. Speak to you later.